Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will try to simplify expressions with rational exponents. When we say rational exponents, these are exponents in fractional form or in fraction. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here the first batch of our given examples in this kind of video. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we have another part of this in which we will continue discussion to this topic. Let's start with number 1. Number 1, we are given x raised to 1 half times x raised to 3 over 2. As you can see, we have the exponents, which is 1 half and 3 over 2, and the base is x and x. So simply by using the product law, we're in, we need to copy the same base and add the exponents. Ito yung magiging step natin. You need to copy x and then add the exponents. The exponents are 1 half and 3 over 2. So this is 1 half plus 3 over 2. As you can see guys, the two fractions are similar fractions. That's why we can easily simplify their exponents and it will give us x is equal x raised to 4 over 2 wherein our x is equal to 4 over 2. Our exponent can be simplified as 2. So the final answer here is x squared. So that is the answer for item number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given x raised to three over 2 over 3 times x raised to 1 half. As you can see, we have rational exponents. So what will happen, same with number 1, we need to copy the base, which is the same, x, x raised to 2 thirds plus 1 half. What we're using here is that we're using the product law. As you can see, they are the similar fractions. So what we need to do here is to add the two fractions by getting the LCD of the exponents. So what will happen is that you have x raised to the LCD of 3 and 2 is 6. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 2, that is 4. 6 divided by 2, that is 3, times 1, this will give you plus 3. And simplifying your exponent, the final answer in item number 2 is x raised to 7 over 6. That is the answer for item number 2. So let me put some box to finalize our answer. Yeah. So in item number 1 and 2, Nagamamit tayong ng product law of exponent. Let's move on with item number 3. If this is the case, we have x raised to 16, y raised to 8, raised to 1 over 8. What you need to do here in the exponent outside the parenthesis is that you need to multiply it one by one by the exponents of the base inside the parenthesis. So first, you need to multiply it by the variable x. You have x raised to 16 times 1 over 8. Followed by the, the variable y, you have y raised to 8 times 1 over 8. By the way, guys, we can simplify 16 and 1 over 8. You can cancel out 8. This is 1 and this is 2. So simplifying the exponents, it will give you x squared. And as for the second variable, which is y, we can eliminate 8 and 8, and it will give you the exponent of 1. That's why instead of using y raised to 1, the final answer here is x squared y. That is the answer for item number 3. Now let's move on with item number 4. Here in number 4, we will use power of a quotient. So same process with number 3, ito nga na quotient form. We need to multiply the exponent outside the parenthesis, which is 1 over 6, 
by the exponents of the variables inside the parentheses. So what will happen is that you will have x raised to 12 times 1 over 6. Next, you have y raised to 6 times 1 over 6. So you need to simplify your exponents and here we can cancel out 6 which is 1 and 12 which is 2. So it will give you the answer of x raised to 2 times 1 that is 2 over we can cancel out 6 and 6 and this, this will give us the exponent of 1. So your denominator is y. So that is the final answer for item number 4. So we have x squared over y. That's it guys. Ganun lang siya simple. Now let's proceed with item number 5. For item number 5, we have here x raised to 3 over 2, y raised to 7 over 3 over x cubed, y raised to 2 over 9. So we will use here the quotient law. So for the quotient law, you need to simplify. How to simplify that? You need to subtract the exponents of the exponents of the base of the same base. So here we have here the same base of x, and we need to simplify this by subtracting. Wait for a while. Copy your same base, which is x, and then subtract their exponents. x. So you'll start with the exponent of the numerator, which is 3 over 2, minus the exponent of your denominator x, which is 3. And as for the variable y, copy the base, which is y, then subtract their exponents also. You have 7 over 3 minus 2 over 9. So here, uh, same process, since they are the similar fractions, we need to get their LCD. The LCD of, of 2 over 3, a uh, 3 over 2, and 3 is 2. So this will become x and your LCD which is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3, that is 3, minus 2 divided by your invisible denominator here, which is 1, which is 2 divided by 1, that it will give you 2, times 3, that is 6. Next, for the variable y, the LCD of the denominators 3 and 9 is 9. So same process, 9 divided by 3, that is 3, right? 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 7, this will give you 21, minus 9 divided by 9, that is 1, times 2, that will give you the answer of 2. And simplifying the exponents of the variable x and y, this will give us the answer of x raised to 3 minus 6 is negative 3 over 2. For the variable y, you have y raised to 19 over 9. And this one is not yet the final answer because we still have a negative exponent in which we need to make this exponent be equal to positive. So to make that positive, we need to apply the negative exponent law. So what will happen, since this one is in the numerator, this one is in the numerator, we need to transfer this term or expression into the denominator. So what will happen when you transfer this into the denominator, your exponent will become positive. So our answer here in item number 5 is simply y, copy your y which is 19 over 9 over x raised to 3 over 2. As you can see guys, from a negative exponent, it became positive once we change the position of it from numerator to denominator. So in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you more examples wherein we will try to simplify expressions with rational exponents. Now this is the second part of our discussion 
on how to simplify expressions with rational exponents. Again, when you say rational exponents, these are exponents in fractional form. So let's continue with item number six. In number six, we're given x raised to one half, y raised to two thirds over x raised to two over five, y raised to four over three, and raised by six. So normally, ang ginagawa dito guys is that you need to simplify first or you need to multiply first the exponent outside to the exponent of the bases inside the parentheses. But in our case, what I'm going to do here is I will simplify first this expression inside the parentheses before using the exponent outside. Okay, let's continue. First, for the variable x, I will, what I will do is I will subtract the exponents using quotient law. So what will happen is that you have to copy the variable x and then subtract the exponents 1 half minus 2 over 5. And what will happen next is you need to copy the variable y, then subtract the exponents. You have 2 over 3 minus 4 over 3. And then raise to 6. So, so to simplify your exponents here, with which they have different denominators, again, you need to find the LCD. You have x raised to 10, which is the LCD, same process, 10 divided by 2, which is 5, times 1, that is 5, minus 10 divided by 10 divided by 5, that will give you the answer of 2, times 2, that is 4. And as for the variable y, you have y, same denominator, it will give you y raised to negative not this one, negative 2 over 3. Again, your exponent here is negative. So what will happen is that before applying or before multiplying the exponent outside, what I need to do is to simplify first this one. We have 5 minus 4, which is 1. So the exponent of x is x raised to 1 over 10. As for the variable y, as you can see, this one is negative. To make it positive, we need, we need to trans, transfer the variable y to the denominator. So it will become y raised to two-thirds. The purpose of uh, transferring your variable from numerator to denominator is that to make this exponent positive and then raised by 6. As you can see, since we already simplified the expression inside, we can distribute or multiply this exponent inside, uh, outside the parentheses. So the next step here is that we have x raised to 1 over 10 times 6 over this one, y raised to 2 thirds times 6. And simplifying this, this will give you the answer of 6 over 10. So Cancel natin to, cancel natin, this is 3, and this is 5. So the final answer for item number 6 is simply x raised to 3 over 5 over this one. You can cancel out this one, cancel 1, cancel 2, 2 times 2, which is 4. So this is y raised to the fourth power. So the final answer in item number 6 is simply this one. x raised to 3 over 5 over y raised to 4. That's it, guys. Mahalo sa mahirap, but uh, doing it step-by-step uh, -step process and as long as you know how to use the different class of exponents, hindi ka makawala sa pag-simplify ng gantong klase ng expressions with rational exponents. Now, let's continue with item number 6. We are given 16 x raised to the 4th power y raised to negative a raised by 1 over 4. So, to do this, guys, what will happen is we will one by one multiply the exponent outside the parentheses. So, this 16, we have 16 raised to 1 fourth because it has the exponent of 1. And for the variable x, x raised to 4 times 1 over 4. 
And as for the y variable, you have y raised to negative 8 times 1 fourth. Itong 16 natin uh, can be expressed as 2 raised to 4. Again, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. So if we can express 16 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we can write it as 2 raised to 4 and then multiply by the exponent of 1 fourth. And then this one, you can cancel out 4 and 4, and the exponent of the variable x is 1, so this is x na lang. For the variable y, since this is negative 8 times 1 fourth, cancel, cancel, this is 1, and this is negative 2. So this will give us y raised to negative 2. So to simplify your answer, as you can see guys, we can cancel out 4 and 4, so the remaining exponent of 2 is 1, so this is 2. For the variable x, copy your x, and since your exponent the exponent of y is negative, we can transpose this or transfer this into the denominator. So the final answer for item number 7 is none other than 2x over y squared. Ito na mismo sagot natin, guys. So if you have any question about this topic, guys, feel free to comment down below. And if you have any topic that you want to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!